Hi, everybody. Good morning, and um, welcome to San Francisco. I would be remiss if I didn't start today's session by saying, go Giants. All right. So with that as my kickoff, what I want to do is I want to share with you some, some observations of where we're seeing big and fast data have impact on the healthcare industry, and in particular, why this is an exciting time to be in the data business, to be a, a data junkie. Um, first area, we all know about the data volumes. The data volumes continue to grow, the access to more detailed, structured and unstructured data about patients, treatments, research, clinical studies, the payer-provider relationships. There's a bevy of data available to us, data like we've never dreamed before. And there's probably not an industry that has more of a challenge and an opportunity dealing with this data variety and data depth and, and volume than the healthcare industry. But the interesting aspect about the data challenge is this opportunity with high velocity data. That is our ability to shrink the latency between when a data event occurs and when we can monitor and act on that data. And also, the game is just starting, right? There's all sorts of new data sources gonna be unleash, unleashed upon us. We talked about genomics, right? Where uh, the individual human strand, DNA strand, has over 2.3 billion snippets of information. Right? Companies even like Ancestry.com are democratizing the availability of this, right? Spit in a tube and tell me when I'm gonna die, sort of stuff, right? And there's also this, this growth, explosive growth in, in social media and mobile devices that's creating these vibrant communities around specific healthcare issues. Right? And also in the whole area of, of home monitoring, the, the soon to be unleashed, all these intelligent home monitoring sensors and devices that are going to unleash a, a tsunami of information about you, about your health situation in real time so people can monitor, analyze, and figure out exactly what's going on in your life. Yeah, when I've gone on a binge at uh, cream, you know, Krispy Kreme Donuts, for example. Now that raises all kinds of opportunities for more learning. It also raises all kinds of opportunities for concern which need to be addressed, because the data by itself doesn't do anything. The challenge we've got is that the data that's coming on board has broken all of our existing systems, and so it's had to create a whole new generation of, of, of applications and technologies to manage that data. Things like um, MPP-based databases to manage both structured and unstructured data. Things like Hadoop and MapReduce that allows us to manage, manipulate all this wealth of data Things like um, in-memory computing that allows us to take advantage of this high-velocity data so we can analyze it, we can track patterns, we can identify um, uh, trends and act on that data in a more timely manner. Data virtualization that allows us to get at the data without that data being stored in a data warehouse, right? No longer do we have to spend you know, 12, 18 months building a data warehouse only to be, have it be outdated the minute we get done with it. Data virtualization allows us to reach out. And finally, in database analytics, my, my personal favorite, because it allows us to accelerate the ability to develop analytics, develop them, refine them, and operationalize those analytics back into our operational and management systems. So data on one hand, and new technology, on the other hand, by themselves don't do anything. But what we've seen over, over time is that when those things collide, new applications come out, new opportunities for us to provide value, uh, applications that are enabled by the technologies. For example, uh, detecting fraud in real time by, by merging uh, past payments data with current payment data and history and to figure out and flag and, and uh, um, potential areas of fraud or um, using, um, uh, synchronizing all of a patient's treatment, uh, medical, healthcare, um, exercise data, pulling data from mapmyrun.com to attribute which of all these activities are having impact on my healthcare. And by the way, many of these kinds of analytics have actually been perfected in other industries. Attribution analysis is being done in digital media. Detecting fraud has been something that's been happening for quite a while in the, in the financial services space. And finally, pooling all that data together to identify anomalies in the data, trends and patterns that show us things about data that allow us to preempt disease outbreaks, to share information and best practices. So if you want to know more about what we, as far as EMC, which includes Greenplum and VMware, are seeing and doing in this space, 
I would suggest that that slide come back or not. And um, come, come to a couple of our sessions and um, please stop by booth 203. Thank you. Thank you very much.